What is going on guys? My name is Duggar, always on board. And in a previous tutorial, I taught everybody how to put a PSD folder into After Effects and be able to use it in After Effects. Well, a PSD folder is a Photoshop file that you can use with a different uh, amount of layers where you can animate certain layers and do whatever you want with the layers which, within the PSD file. So if you haven't seen that already, go ahead and click right here. This is the previous After Effects tutorial that I've made. And so you're gonna be doing that in this video. Uh, and if you know how to do it already, this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 logo is going to be in the description for you guys to download and I created this for a gameplay about a week ago. So the first thing that I want to do is in the PSD file there is a background down here and I'm going to make it to where it's visible so there's white and then you can see that there's the uh, shadows. So in this video we are going to make this all animate into it by actually I'm going to show you a preview of it actually. So here we go. Let me resize this so it's not too bad. So I made this and I put it into a video. So what happens is Call of Duty comes in and Modern Warfare 4 kind of spins itself in. And so it's pretty simple and then it fades off. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that. So in this video, we're gonna be working with 3D. So there's gonna be animation with motion and then there's gonna be some key framework, I guess you can say. So keyframes and stuff working with opacity. And I'm gonna teach you guys some shortcuts so that you can learn how to do things faster. And so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make it to where Call of Duty comes from like basically outside of your screen and then centers right to this point. And so this is what it's gonna end up looking like after all the, the motion happens. So I'm gonna get rid of the four logo because we really don't need that, which is the second logo. And I'm gonna have to do a tutorial within a tutorial here and teach you guys how to rename layers because it's important to organize. Um, right here it says Black Ops 2 logo and I'm not sure why. Uh, I just brain farted, I guess, when I created the, the logo. So what you wanna do is make sure that this, um, so you can click through these tabs and make sure that you're in this timeline section and this uh, orange thing is around the uh, square so that you can edit these things. And then you're gonna click on this or if you're not even clicked on any of them, if you click on one on your 10 key, it highlights the first one and two is the second one, three is so on and so on. So that's a cool little tutorial. So hit one on the 10 key and Black Ops 2 logo is right there. And then from here you can click on return and that makes it to where you can rename the layer. So it's pretty much important to know what you're doing and know what you're working with. So I'll call this one call of duty and hit return again and there you go. And so that's a little tutorial within a tutorial. So I hope you like that and that deserves a rating because I know that took me forever to learn because no one ever talked about that. And so the first thing we want to do is go to this timeline and you want to move it to a certain time like you can move it wherever you want and we can re-edit the keyframes but let's say I want to move it to uh, one second and 15 frames and how can you tell that that's one second and 15 frame well right here uh, on this timeline it actually tells you um, for this is one minute no frames one you know, so far you can see it but another way that you can learn is uh, either right here or right here so how this works out is the 15 is the frames so every single time I moved a frame it'd be uh, counting up and counting down and another tutorial within a tutorial is hitting command right on the keyboard and uh, left on the keyboard or on the on the arrow keys so command and uh, right arrow goes without moving anything in the video so if I was to just click on right right now without hitting command you can see that right here everything moves and we don't want that so I'm gonna just command Z that until it gets back to where it's supposed to be so there's another tutorial within a tutorial. So if that doesn't get a like, I don't even know what you guys want me to do. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna quit. Anyways, so um, back to what we were getting at. Um, you wanna go down here and, okay, so it was the frames and then it was, these are seconds and then these are, are minutes and then these are hours. So hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Whoo, I got that one out. So now that we're gonna be going to one minute and 15 frames, where it says one minute and 15 frames, what we want to do is we want to click on P, the shortcut P. And what that is, is position. So it actually drops down right here. And if you hit, click on P again, it hides it. So make sure that P comes down and there's a position right here. And you can do uh, things with this position by first, we're going to click on this stopwatch. And this is where the animation starts. And so that's if you unclick that, the whole animation will go away. So I'll teach you guys how to work with it right now. And so this is X, Y, and Z space because it's a three, 3D layer, what we're gonna do is go to this third one, which is Z space on zero, and you can scrub it away or up close to you. And in the uh, tutorial, actually, this is the last step. In the tutorial, I made it to where it's like, the Call of Duty is centered and then it comes in at this point. So that's not gonna be the first thing that I move, but it's good to know that. Um, let's click this back on zero. 
what I want to do is make it to where it ends right here. So there's my keyframe. And then I'm going to scrub through uh, back to the beginning. And then I'm going to make it to where now I go to the Z, um, Z space and I want to move this in. And then I want to position the uh, Y down to the center because this is where I had it and we'll just keep messing with it until like it's about right here is what I had it where I had it so from here I can just scrub through this and so it's from the center and then it moves up to the point where it ends and as you can see this is all the movement within the animation so I hope that I'm being kind of clear with this and straight to the point and not rambling too much but this pretty much is all the Call of Duty is and so for the next one we want it to where the four comes in and it kind of comes in with a twist now from here we can just turn this this eyeball back on and you can see that the Modern Warfare 4 is there and we just didn't want that while we were doing this because it just looked bad. But another tutorial within a tutorial is if you hold the shift key and then you um, go next to a keyframe, like you can drag it through. If you hold it, it gets stuck too. It's like a magnet. So what we want to do is for this, I want to move it to where it magnets over that and make sure that I'm clicking on this four. And then what we're going to do is click on Command, Shift, and then we're going to click on D. So Command, Shift, D splits a clip. So that's another tutorial within a tutorial. You guys are learning so much in this video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this part because we didn't need that in the beginning of the video. So Call of Duty comes in, and then I split the clip, and then Modern Warfare 4 is right there. But we're going to have to do some animation to make it to where the Modern Warfare 4 actually looks good. So at this point, we can just move forward, and then we're going to do that same thing where we click on the layer and click on P, and then we're going to click on this little stopwatch to make it to where this is where it ends. And then we're going to scrub a little bit to the beginning where Modern Warfare 4 kind of falls in place. And then from that point, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Z space, and then we're going to drag it to the left. Oh, low battery. Let's see if we can get this done before it dies on me. So we're going to drag it to the left, which means um, it's in, it's coming towards you, and that's what we want. And don't mind uh, this right here. I'm going to fix this in a second, but I don't want to confuse you too much. Um, so what happens is now it's right here. And from that point, we can just go like this, and it falls into place just like Call of Duty did. But what we want to do is in the video, I had made it to where it kind of rotates a little bit. So what do you guys think the command is for this one? R is rotate. So when I click on this and I click on R, we can have X rotation, Y rotation, and Z rotation. So let's just go through these real quick. X is like this, like it's a swinging door. Command Z to not use that one. This one is, I don't even know how you would explain that, but that's what that is. Be creative with it. And then this one is the one that I actually used in the video. So it's Z rotation where it spins like this. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to make it to where the rotation starts right after Modern Warfare 4, or right at the same time as Modern Warfare 4 starts to come in. Now, how do we do that? Well, the first thing I want to do is make it to where there's a keyframe regardless of a Z rotation. And I don't even have it to where it's moving or doing anything. But at this point, we can click on 5, and then we click on U, the, key, the letter key U on your keyboard. And what that does is it brings up all the keyframes that are being used within this layer. Okay, so at this point, I have it coming in this way and then there's this keyframe right here that I haven't really done anything with but um, it's going to turn into the rotation so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to drag this click and drag and if you make sure that it, this one's highlighted because if you highlight more than one you can move more than one but all we want is just this rotation one and you can drag this around and if you want to line it up perfectly with the, this one right above it which means it lands at that point just hold shift and it locks in with that keyframe so what it's going to do now is it's going to come in, but we're going to make it to where it rotates. So in the beginning right here, just hold shift and lock it on to this first one. We can make it to where the Z rotation over here is to the left or to the right or whatever which way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. And so as you can see, now that I moved it, it comes down to a perfect like tilt. In the video, I have it perfectly like this. And so with that, that's that's basically all there is and if you want to make it to where it's smooth and you can make the animation pretty smooth all you have to do is drag right here and make this selection around all the keyframes right click go to keyframe assistant and click on easy ease or if you're on a PC you can just click on F9 but for Mac it doesn't really work that way so easy ease click it and now this little 
timer thing looks like that and so every all the movement is now smoother and so you can make it to where you can bring these up so that you don't see any keyframes or anything and uh, I did notice during this motion that Modern Warfare 4 is behind Call of Duty so all you have to do with that is just bring that up above the first one and so let's see this one comes in and then this one falls see now that it's now it's above it instead of behind it so that looks better and boom and now it lands like that and so what we wanted to do was add motion blur so that it looks better so what that is is this little button right here you can click on this and that enables motion blur and these buttons right here so you have to click on these two to add motion blur so you can preview it and if it goes slowly by if you hit the space bar it previews it but what we want to do is go to the ram preview over here so let's click on this ram preview so it hurry up and renders it and then we wait like two seconds sorry for this little wait blah 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 and so now it looks like that where call of duty modern warfare 4 comes in and it just looks half decent okay and so what we want to do now is there's going to be another tutorial within a tutorial where um you know this whole animation's done and this is all we need so we're going to highlight everything in this and we're going to make it to where that's where it ends so what you have to do here is go to command and right bracket or commit wait hold on one second you highlight over this um uh, aha i remember so what you have to do is click option and right bracket and that pretty much cuts everything off at that point so when it comes down to this now it's nothing and so from here you can um, make it to where the opacity comes down and this disappears so from now from this point on I'm just gonna take away the background because we don't need that and so it just falls in then the twist comes in and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the two things that are moving so we're gonna make this a, another composition where we can pre compose it and what you do right there is uh, you highlight both of these go up here to composition and then you go to uh, actually where is it at come on okay so you go to actually layer after highlighting both of those and you go to pre-compose man I've I messed up a few times in this video but you've learned a lot and hopefully you still rate the video and then you can type in Doug is cool or whatever you want to do and click on OK and so from here it's a new composition and it's under Doug is cool and then at this point I could bring the like bring in anything I want to another composition so comp 3 is empty and so I can just drag in Doug is cool and put it in there and so now it gets to a point where it's just in there and so that's pretty cool and then from right here I can just go option um, and click on the right bracket key and so that cuts off so from here what we want to do is take away the opacity okay so it's gonna dim out so from right here uh, we can uh, bring in I think it's T for opacity and then you can click on the stopwatch again and bring this to zero and then once it's zero you don't see anything because you made it to where there's no you know opacity so then you bring it into a little bit because you want it to fade out and then what you do from here is you just hit this zero up to a hundred and then now at this point we can just ram preview it it just slowly fades out in the video it was a longer fade so we can just drag this out and then I can move this down here and so let's say it just starts actually let's move this in a little bit and so from here it just slowly fades so in the in the video that I had posted for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 or whatever uh, it was a longer fade but you guys get the clue and uh, I hope you guys learned a lot in this video because I feel like this is a pretty long video and it had a lot of detail in it so you've learned a lot and so my name is Doug or always on board um, go ahead and leave some feedback some comments subscribe if you haven't already and if you have any videos that you would like to learn like any effects or whatnot go ahead and request it because I'm willing to teach the community what the community wants to learn so my name is Doug or always on board go ahead and rate the video and I will talk to you guys later